Oh, and the ice. My parents just lost power and water, so they're leaving and going to go find some place a little bit warmer to stay. But boy, things could have been a whole lot worse for us. We're just dealing with rain. Yeah, that's true. We are really thankful that our temperatures yesterday got above freezing and have stayed above freezing for the most part when the rain has been falling. So we did have ice over the weekend, folks getting their power restored. And yes, I've got sunshine in the forecast, but first we do have to deal with more rain out there. Looking at the campus of High Point University where it is a soggy evening. It's been a cold gray day and now we're looking for more rain to move in. And some of that rain will be heavy at at times could have some thunder with this as well. Temperature right now in High Point is a chilly 39 degrees. Feels like 35 right now. As for rainfall, everybody keeps saying, is it ever going to stop? We've had a quite a bit, right? So far this month, we are already an inch and a half above normal with three plus inches of rain. And for the year, already almost two inches above normal with 6.32 inches of rain. And we will likely add to that another half of an inch to possibly as much as an inch tonight as we've got another wave moving in. Some of that will be heavy, could have some lightning with it as well. Tuesday and Wednesday, though, those are our bright spots. We have a little bit of sunshine. It's not going to be balmy, but at least we'll have blue skies at least briefly across our area before the next weather system comes in here, which will be cold and wet, rainy, possibly a little wintry. Right now, it's just rain. And notice the heavier rain that is starting to push in now between Winston-Salem and Lexington. So we'll continue to watch that moving northward. So there could be some heavy downpours tonight. And as I mentioned, rumble of thunder. Our temperatures, though, will hold pretty steady, if not go up by tomorrow morning. We're going to get a wind out of the south, which will help. Right now, the wind out of the east is making it feel really miserable out there with wind chill values below freezing in many communities. But that south wind will help to keep us above freezing tonight. And you can see all of the heavy rain that is headed our way. I mentioned that chance of thunder. We are not under the threat for severe weather, just general thunderstorms. The severe weather risk is a little farther to our southeast and definitely down here to the south where they are under a tornado watch over parts of Georgia and the panhandle of Florida. And then out to the west, you can see freeze warnings in purple and the snow that is along the Ohio River. For us, it is rain and it will be heavy at times. That window between about 8 p.m. and about midnight looks to be when the heaviest rain comes through. Then we dry out by tomorrow morning. And yeah, we bring back a little bit of sunshine during the day tomorrow. It is going to be breezy, though, and temperatures are chilly. They're in the upper 40s with a west wind at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Should be in the upper 40s for the foothills as well. Also, windy conditions. Mountains, the temperatures actually go down during the day, and we're going to have a cold wind as well. This is where that cold air is coming from. Temperatures below freezing, and then look at Dallas at 13. My brother there says we are snowed in, and yes, that is unusual, right? Well, the next weather system that will be impacting us is one that's forming just to the south of Dallas right now, and that'll be moving our way by the time Wednesday night and Thursday roll all around. We could have a touch of wintry weather, I think, at the onset of this. So we're going to keep in that freezing rain wintry mix possible Wednesday night into early Thursday morning and then warming to rain during the day Thursday. A cold, sunny weekend on that seven day.